All the best foods are eaten with your hands. Yeah. Everyone knows that. And people who don't know that are wrong. I've never had Nigerian food. I've always wanted to try it, and I'm excited. This meat's a little chewy, which I really like. Tastes like spaghetti. It does, mm -hmm. like better than spaghetti. It's like if sweet potato fries had a cousin, and that cousin was better. The lady back here wonderfully explained that it's very customary to do this, which makes sense because you're eating from your hand. Okay, you're a pro. <laughs> I just cheated, I watched other people do it. A lot of times in America, we get so used to just like fork and knives kind of shoving it into your mouth all the time. Whereas like this is just more of like a full on experience. All the best foods are eaten with your hands. Yeah. Is there a fishiness I detect? A little, I, I get that too. It's like tangy, sharp. It tastes like tofu-ish. Kind of like, like really starchy, overcooked rice and like a mashed potato. But with this together, it has so much more flavor. I love all meats on sticks. I've never had a meat on stick I didn't like. It's like a powdery flavor on the outside. Very beef jerky-ish also. It's one of those things where it's like, it is hot, but as you keep eating it, you just kind of burn off your like feelers a bit, so it's easier to eat it. It's like addicting like hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is really opening up my sinuses. It snapped me out of my food coma. It's a lot of like, it's like salty and spicy. Like the Midwestern in me wants to get like a big ass roll and just like dunk it. I'm not a big seafood guy, but this is like a good level of fishiness. I also can tell that they roasted the peppers beforehand, which is really great. Give it some great like deep flavor. I'm sweating. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It like hits you in a wave of heat. I can't even speak. It's kind of comforting. It's, it's comforting. Food. For sure comforting, yeah. Well, this was delicious. I had a great time eating all of that, and I wish it was more mainstream so I could eat that jollof rice anywhere. It was so good. A lot of our cultures around the world, especially food-wise, have stemmed from there, and I feel like it's just what a great experience that we're missing out on.